If there's ever been a time to purchase an air purifier, it was this year. There was smoke from the wildfires that filled the air for days. And of course, there is COVID, which scientists say can travel through the air, but also can be filtered out of it if you get the right filtration system. The problem, there are a lot of air purifying systems out there and very little data on if they actually work. So there's essentially this whole new class of air cleaners out there for which there's very little test data that are being very aggressively marketed to consumers. So Portland State University researcher Elliot Gall decided to test this new class. You've probably heard of them, electronic or ionic air cleaners. There's essentially devices that add something to your indoor environment with the intent of changing the chemistry that's happening in your building to achieve some positive effect. Gall teamed up with scientists from both Illinois Tech and Colorado State University to put one to the test. They tested a device made by Global Plasma Solutions, both in a controlled lab and inside a Portland area building. What they found was not what you might expect. The device in, in our testing uh, was ineffective in addressing the um, air pollutants that it's advertised to remove from the space. But that was wasn't that all. The device actually, by way of introducing these ions into the space that change the chemistry of the space, it appears that the device might actually be producing some chemical byproducts as a result of its operation. Byproducts, the researchers say, could be irritating or potentially harmful to human health. Gull says there's still a lot of research to be done on this class of air cleaners, but he and others worry because these devices are fairly easy to install into existing HVAC systems, they'll be attractive to school districts. In fact, Gall is one of a number of researchers that recently wrote an open letter to schools asking them to avoid using emergency COVID relief aid dollars to install these devices and wait for more data. In the meantime, Gall and his colleagues recommend consumers stick with the air purifiers that use filters, like HELPA filters, to clean the air. So there's a lot at stake, um, and I think, you know, we need to be relying on proven technologies. Keely Chalmers, KGW News.